reality hello. So we need to do a vinyl shootout video. All three Spongo records. You can't see them because there's a little bit of a distraction right now in the background. But these three records made quite an explosion the past couple weeks and sold out in about an hour and a half. So I need to talk about these because uh, there's a lot of people been asking about uh, the difference between these and the remasters that came out in 2022. So yeah, we'll take in the scenery for just another minute and then we'll go back in and talk about the rest of the rest. Of I feel like Jim Cantori at Storm Chasers when he's chasing a tornado and he's trying to talk over like 70 mile per hour hurricane winds. Except it's just, you know, 150 dB explosion. Spongo Codex 6. Spongo Museum of Consciousness. Spongo, nothing lasts but nothing is lost. Hey, howdy. Hello. Have you ever heard of the band Spongo? These guys are crazy good. So, I mean, I've been doing these vinyl videos since January, but I've actually mentioned these guys before. Very obscure. I mean, just look at these cool color variants. Um, Sort of makes you go, huh? It's one of those band names that at least I hear and I go, that's something I could like just based on the band name alone. These guys are the real deal. Uh, long time producers, late 90s, early 2000s. They talk about working in several studios. They talk about why they do it. They're really creative in their storytelling, eccentric and, and popping. Artwork that almost looks like a, a three, 3D pop-up book. The Magoomba State. Hair, Gringle Flappers, Secret Stash Box. Wake Up as a Shluma. Celestial Intoxication. The Anebish Root. Molecular Superstructure. Periscopes of Consciousness. Yeah. Really deep, make you want to dance type electronic music. Coupled with this beautifully like, make you sit there and ponder vibe. There's no other way to describe it. Finally got through the Spongle discography. You know, obviously looking for some vinyl to purchase. I was able to snag the Nothing Lasts But Nothing Is Lost on the standard black. These are readily available and sound great. That was the video, the vinyl tag day back in January of 2023. I really did enjoy this album. So I was looking for uh, a restock of really cool colored vinyl pressings. They're super, uh, elusive, especially for this particular pressing. I'm not touching this, by the way. These are these amazing sleeves from Vinyl Store Solutions that are crystal clear. They're made for color variants, but they've been treated to hold vinyl discs. You can't just do this with any inner or outer sleeve. Then green and gold and golden green blob. Really tight. I'm always scared with color pressings because color pressings get a bad rep. We all know. Oh, the color pressing is not, <laughs> as, not, as, not, as, not as audiophile as the clean, pure black pressing. Okay. You know, sometimes uh, it's hard to beat 180 gram black vinyl pressing. And sometimes there are color pressings that have less defects than the most audiophile marketed black vinyl out there. So you have to listen to it for yourself in your room. And that's what I've done today. So I want to talk about just a few of these restocks that happened. They were all limited to 400 for each of the Spongle albums. They are all sold out. Most of them sold out within the day. It was really impressive to see the variety of splatter options they had for all the albums. So I had to, I had to narrow it down. I'm importing these from the UK. I had to pay a large shipping fee. So I decided on these three albums. Really happy with the purchase on every single one. So let's dive into a little bit of comparisons that I found between these and the other vinyl or these, the digital files. Nothing lasts, but nothing is lost. I will say this. It, uh, it's really cool that they did a remaster of this in 2019, 2020. Right around the time. Press the vinyl in 2020. That's when I was able to snag this on black vinyl for a decent price. Really happy that all of these are uh, pressed and available for everybody. And it's great that there is an amazing color option variant that I'm spinning right now. And I'm going to compare uh, the mastering of both of these. And I'm really curious. Um... You know, is there a difference in, in quality or any other feature other than the beautiful color? So we'll find out. Cool. 
and I get a good sample size of each. Wow, a being <laughs> a being black pressing of this to the color, I, it just really you, you have to split hairs. Not only is it the same volume level, but I'm running into splitting hairs over treble, the excitement over the treble, and that really isn't a fair comparison because I dropped the needle in one section and the treble just exploded. If you listen to them side by side, will you notice any surface noise issues? No. Will you notice any volume difference issues? No. Dynamics? No. Do they sound a little bit different? They really won't sound any... Di <sighs> the more I listen to it, the more I'm looking for things to parse out. And that should tell you right there, this is a great pressing. The colored pressing is very acceptable. Let's check out Museum of Consciousness. Here we're talking about... I love this album. Museum of Consciousness. I saw this album through Dakota of Earth on YouTube. I don't know if you guys saw... Uh, any of his vlogs he was doing around 2017, he was talking about how he listened to this music uh, and just had a flashed a picture of it on screen. I was like, what the heck is that? That looks awesome. Looked it up and discovered this band through this. Uh, songs like A Brain in a Fish Tank, How the Jellyfish Jumped Up the Mountain, Extra Celestial Delights, Juggling Molecules, Further Adventures in Spongoland, Mrs. Kugla, and tickling the amygdala. I, I genuinely think this is uh, one of the most iconic Spong Globes just because, I don't know, it's, it's so bright and fun and just like the Spongle boys are. And they went all out on the artwork. And the discs! Again, I'm holding these plastic sleeves. So don't worry. Orange, purple, and yellow to go with it. I, tell me, even if you don't like color vinyl, tell me that's not sick. They literally chose the best possible color combos for the artwork. Such a fan of this. So I'm going to give it a spin and we'll compare it to the digitals because I was not able to snag the remasters. Heard good things about the 2022 remasters and this is the, the exact same mastering given uh, the the remaster that happened. I think it was 2022. Yes, yeah, it's a 2022 remaster. So let's play. I hear how the jellyfish jumped the mountain. I mean, that's so sick. <laughs> Just how the jellyfish jumped up the mountain. Right away, the bass is just so... Uh, the vinyl, the bass is just so much more full. Uh, and maybe at the expense of a little bit of attack. That's just my reaction. Let me keep looking. Now I take it back because transients are so good still. <laughs> And it's just, there's so much going on in the mix of Spongle. And if you were ever annoyed with how much is going on in the upper end of the treble, you're going to love the vinyl. Because it really does smooth all of that out. And it really rounds the bass and kind of brings you in in kind of a hypnotic way. They did it so well as far as the mix and master for vinyl. It's exactly what you would want. And I think people will be praising it for that very reason. Great to hear. No takes and pops on any of the discs. I'm just happy. Shout out to the amazingly detailed color inserts too. So cool. Yeah, so if I had to pick my Desert Island Schwangel albums, you got Nothing Last But Nothing Is Lost, The Green One, Museum of, uh, Museum of Consciousness, this is one, and Codex 6. There's something really entrancing about the latest Spongle album. I don't know what it was. It really is, like Simon just said in a video I heard, that it's their most mature album to date. It's enjoyable just for that reason. They really did capitalize on just the elements that make it good and nothing else. So let's dig into Codex. Deep listen. And it's also on serious triple splatter vinyl. Gold with green splatter. Dark green with gold splatter and black with gold splatter. Just magical. I mean, if you have to analyze artwork that was designed to be a splatter, does that cover not qualify? For wanting to be a splatter variant, it does. There's a lot of really great deep tracks on here, but I think I'm going to pick Toward the End Really Blew Me Away of this disc. So I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on side E. I woke up as a schmertz. I love the intro to this song. Sounds like the 
the epic moment in Survivor when they're about to get mad at somebody because somebody did something to somebody. Some drama nonsense, nothing in Survivor. Yeah, you know. There it is again. I think there's a lot of tracks that need that nuance that this just provides so well. You know, other pressings seem to have great reviews on this particular remaster. And, you know, I don't know what needed to be remastered in 2022 because they did a full run of remasters in 2022. I do know for a fact <laughs> that no matter what you do uh, with these new remastered Sprongle vinyls, you're going to have yourself a ball. You can get your hands on them. Hopefully you did snag it upon pre-order. Seeing so many people sadly missed out on on the color variants. And I think the rollout of it was a little bit spontaneous. They only gave maybe a couple weeks notice, which is good. You know, that's something. But yeah, if you're able to pick up any of the amazing Spongle variants, how were they? Are you Spongle? Yeah, I mean, that one, 1998. I think that one sold out first. It's a cool, simple color variant. Um, looks super sick as well. Nice to see these getting the proper treatment. Great sounds. No complaints. Really appreciate you coming. Coming to hang out, coming to see what's up with these amazing Spongle variants. If you are new here, uh, thanks for stopping by. I do videos like this quite a bit. I like to do deep dives, vinyl shootouts. That whole shelf there is just records that I'm going to be talking about in the future. What do I do? I compare them. We like to talk about the people and records that we love. We like to showcase bands and artists that are doing great work. We want to talk about them. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, that's what we do. We're just trying to create a community of cool, like-minded people that do that. Oh, buddy, you know what it is. I got to tell you about the next thing in line. I really got to do Phoebe Bridger's Stranger in the Alps. It's getting out of hand. The pressings, thank God I was able to get these at decent value. Still way overpriced. Uh, and there's some nuances between them. Yeah, I'm talking $400 for some of these pressings. Same with Coheed and Cambria, the second stage turbine blade. We did talk about it. Made a video talking about it. it, it you know, th there's something to be said for these new variants that they're getting in the hands of fans. But there was a whole, whole issue with the rollout of the release, which they tried to fix. And they tried to get it in the hands of more people. But there was a, anyway, there's a whole order queuing process that, uh, it was a mess. Do cost 100 to $200 on the aftermarket. Uh, if you're getting official pressing, highly sought after album. Spoiler alert. I'm loving that. <sighs> 2011. Oh, there's a whole line of albums that I got to talk about that are just albums that I love. Switch Switch, the beautiful letdown. And that song, Day, day You'd Mouth, Day You'd Breathe Yourself Up. They, uh, they re recorded the whole album from the ground up because they could not get it pressed on vinyl. That's applause to them for it because it was going up and it was going to $300 in the aftermarket. I just want to talk about the stuff that, you know, if you're going to spend big money on, see if you can get a good value for. There's a couple things, you know, that we're going to talk about maybe that aren't as sought after, too. I got Pine Grove Cardinal. I want to do Beck Odelay from 1996. Yeah, I love that album. I don't know why. It's such a vibe. So I'm working on hunting that down. It's going to be a minute. Tycho. Tycho is amazing if you're into electronic music. Electro chill. Way more chill than Spongle. <laughs> Not a lot like... Spongle and sound. Uh, I love it. A lot of it's instrumental. Some of it he's been doing lately. It's been popping off with some vocals behind it, but some of the albums we're going to talk about are the older stuff. He did a first ever uh, press to vinyl. I believe the first Tycho EP. One of my favorite. I like to say Tycho Wake is my favorite album of all time. So anything Tycho puts his hand on gets my stamp of approval. Got Dive. All the pressings of... Uh, Simulcast was great. Talked about my experiences with the Simulcast vinyl. That was the first video on the channel. So young. Last September. And, um, you know, we, we're going to stay on top of what's being pressed as well. I'll showcase. I'm going to do a video showcasing kind of the stuff that I'm just kind of bits and pieces. I like, a, I'll call it bits and pieces uh, <laughs> of stuff that I've just kind of bits and pieces, you know, uh, over the past month or two. Cool. Yeah, thanks for hanging around. We'll see you around. It's video away. Till then, uh, keep on grooving your way.
Is there more? That's gotta be it. That was it.